the dude from Doper and Nope had a music career. What? I'm, I'm just gonna put some like Skyrim VR in the background of like this video because I don't know what else to put in the background. I have some other like gameplay footage, but I feel like that's gonna overuse like the Minecraft and Valorant and shit. So I'm, I'm gonna have some Skyrim VR just right here. So Matthias, who is now known as Doper Nope, or at least his channel is known as Doper Nope now since he rebranded it a while ago, he actually had a music career before starting the channel and I've watched him for a long time and I own a lot of his music on iTunes, a lot of his original songs, a lot of his parodies, and I kind of wanted to take time to talk about and appreciate that today because it was such a large part of my childhood that I enjoyed over and over and over again and still enjoy today like recently i just went back and i watched some of his parodies and some of his original videos and his original music videos and just oh my god this man is talented now from what i remember his music career started in like his teenage years and he had a little small band with his friends he like played the guitar it was like kind of like rock music um, if somewhere somewhere in Los Angeles, I just remember like hearing about it. But after they disbanded, he continued to pursue music and started writing his own songs. He released a few singles and even produced his own music videos, which are amazing. You should go check them out. I'll probably link them down below. Um, his music style evolved from like an alternative rock to a really nice pop that just really sounded like his own sound and you can't really place it into its own category because of how distinct his singing voice is and how his style is. Now, I remember finding him through his parodies of like Payphone and uh, that one Pet Peeves parody of whatever else song that was. Um, and his Psy parodies, oh my god, James Bond style and I Am Iron Man, those are probably two of my favorite. The recording and just like, I don't know how to explain it, man. He's talented. He was really good at what he did. He was so good at like directing the videos, writing the parodies, recording the, recording the audio, and it's just... It's really nice to see someone so passionate about what they do. They put their all into it. And you can just see that in the final product. It's so amazing. Um, I remember a few songs that he was recording that he entered into some sort of like YouTube idol program thing. It was some sort of like music competition. I remember like Backwards being one of his final submissions. And it was just such a, it was such good songs like Starting Over, uh dreaming heartstrings all oh my i'll just put all of them up here they're so good with me looking at matthias music on youtube i just got reminded of the song sweet tooth by matthias and i guess another path i believe his brother jay fred helped out with this one i'll put like a clip of it here because that is such a good song as well all of his songs are just really catchy and i'm surprised that people don't really know them as much as i do now um, here's that clip I said. It's a clip like the chorus of it. He is so good at what he does. The first verse and the second verses that other people have written think they're good, but his chorus is so good and unique. I love it. Watch it. And I'm really bummed out that in 2019, Matthias announced he was officially retiring from music. He just was talking about how he lost his passion for music and that he wanted to focus on other things in his life. But he didn't rule out the possibility of someday returning to music if he felt inspired. And I'm really hoping that someday he gets inspired again and makes another song because I would buy it. And while Matthias' music career may have been really short-lived, it played such an essential role in not only my childhood, but shaping who he is today. These songs are so catchy, I can hear every single one of them replaying over and over and over again in my head at the exact same time right now. Piggybacking off of how good it sounded, how good it looked, a lot of his videos just looked so good good visually and so professional. I really loved them at this time and even now they're looking amazing compared to what I see on YouTube today. Even his song Fade Away, which is some of the clips that I'm showing throughout this entire video, is so atmospheric and it's so... my friend hates when I use this word, but aesthetic. It is aesthetically pleasing. Matthias is so creative and talented and I'm so thankful that you guys wanted to sit down and just listen to me talk about it and share this experience with me. As you see on your screen now, there is a big subscribe button, there is a recent video from me, and there is a video that the YouTube algorithm thinks you might really like, and it's another one of my videos, so if you want to watch another one of my videos, you can click one of these or you can click on my channel. I have a bunch more like commentary videos like this. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice rest of your day. You deserve it.